So today I'm going to be working on the truck a little bit. Been having a problem for quite a while actually with this truck, especially when it's cold. You get in it and if you turn the headlights on, they'll flicker a little bit. Not really sure if you call it flicker. They they dim just a little tiny bit and then go bright rather quickly. The interior lights will do it. Once the truck is running for a few minutes and warmed up a little bit, it seems to go away. But here recently, the battery has been being drained just when it's sitting here in the shop. I'll go to start it and it just doesn't have enough juice to get it cranked over. Put the battery charger on it, which right over starts up, runs fine. To me, that seems like the voltage regulator. The voltage regulator on these trucks is built in to the alternator, or actually it's mounted on the back side of the alternator. I'll show you. So the alternator sits right here. The voltage regulator, you can't really see it. The voltage regulator, there's the plug that plugs into the voltage regulator, which is attached on the back side of the alternator. So I am going to be removing said alternator and taking it to the parts store. All morning I've been on the phone with the local parts store. Also, it's O'Reilly's is the parts store. I also called their headquarters and finally got a hold of somebody there that could help me. They tried looking up this alternator because I knew I had a lifetime warranty on it. They couldn't find it at the local store but at the headquarters they found it in about 20 seconds. When I bought it, which was back in 2010, it was under a different part number. Being that the part number changed, the local part store didn't have a history of that, I guess, so when they went to look it up, any, anyway, they, they couldn't find it. So I got that all straightened out, they sent me a copy of the invoice, I called the part store, they have one in stock, so I'm going to remove this one, take it up there, swap it out, get it back on the truck, hopefully it's fixed. Windy, windy day here in central Iowa. Very warm and humid. It's in the middle 80s right now. Humidity is right up there. Clouds are rolling by. And it's that time of year they say we could get severe weather tomorrow. They say if the sun comes out tomorrow morning, pretty good chance of some severe storms later in the day. If not, then it may not amount to much. Who knows? Right, Mox? Little itch. So I took off both battery cables. I'm gonna clean all this up real good. For my setup, took a half inch wrench. And then the only thing that holds the alternator on, I believe, are three bolts. Got one there, and there's one, there's one down there, and then one over on the other side. This cable right here, I already pulled it off. It fits into a little hole on the alternator down there with this Christmas tree connector. And then you have this plug that needs to come off. Another wire right there, a little tiny wire. And then there is another connection in the back right down there. So removing one of these is pretty darn simple. The first thing you need to do is take your 15 millimeter wrench and on your tensioner pulley right there, right there, there's a 15 millimeter bolt, hence the uh, 15 millimeter wrench. You get your wrench on that and pull down on it like that and you can remove your belt. So you push down on your wrench, get the tension off the belt and just lift it up off of your alternator. Like so. <laughs> Dropping your wrench, of course. So you pull this connector off like that. This little connector down here should come off like that. And then there's the one on the back side, which I don't think you're gonna be able to see. The one on the back side of this 
might actually be easier to get off after you take the alternator off, flip it upside down. So I'm going to take this bottom one out foist. Three. So all the bolts are out. I don't remember what size it takes on that nut on the back side. So we'll lift this on out of here a little bit. Like that. This is a 10 millimeter back here. We'll take it off. And that's all there is to it. One alternator. And it still has the tag on it from when I replaced it last time. It is a remanufactured one, but it has a lifetime warranty. So I'm gonna get to taking that to the parts store, get the new one. I don't know if I'm gonna have time to get it on before I have to go get my daughter from school. If not, I will do it when I get back. warm today. So I'll get it to the parts store. Hopefully they will just swap this thing out for me. I can get back home and get it installed. Pretty quick and simple. So I just got back from the parts store a little bit ago. Brought this home with me. This one actually says, actually says Motorcraft on it. One other difference is this pulley is about a quarter inch smaller in diameter where the belt rides than the one that was on it previously. So if anything, that should make this spin a little bit faster which um, maybe they were having a problem with that. Maybe they changed it. I have no idea. So I am going to go ahead and get this on the truck. So assembly is just opposite of disassembly. You take this little nut that was on this post, take that off and uh, replace this on there we'll snap this in there connect this little guy and then put the bolts in These trucks have to be about the easiest vehicle to replace an alternator on. Right up on top.
Then you take your 15 millimeter wrench and get your belt back on it. So once you get your belt back on, just make sure your belt is on all the pulleys as it is supposed to be, and then reattach your battery cables. So I've got the battery charger hooked up to my battery, and I'm just gonna turn this on for a little while and let it sit there and charge. Just gonna do it on 10 amp charge. The battery is just low enough that it won't start the truck, so I'm gonna let it sit there for half hour or so. Fire it up, hope everything works. So I've got it running and the headlights on and there is no flickering at all. I think it's a winner. So I'm just gonna let this sit here and run for a while. Better open that up so I don't kill myself. Like I said, I'm gonna let this sit here and run for a while. And, uh, and then I have to go get my daughter. So give this video a thumbs up, comment down below, subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you next time. Bye bye.